So I've taken the first couple rows and I kind of looked to see where there were some extra things. You don't have to do this now. I've kind of pulled them a little tighter. Um, but you can see it's not perfect, but it will get better. So like I said before, right here is the double where we started. You can see on the inside only where we started and stopped. And what you do with a square basket is do it a quarter turn. So I'm gonna to go to a quarter turn. I'm gonna grab a piece of reed from my bucket. And again, you're gonna feel for the right and the wrong side. You want the wrong right side out to do that. And I'm looking now at this row and I have to be the opposite. So it's either gonna be the first or the second one because that's where I started. And since this one is behind, this is my first one. So I have to start on this one. So I go behind the one to the right of it, bring this down. And now when I do this, I'm gonna push everything kind of together. And I'm gonna use my clip or clothespin or whatever to hold it in place. And we're getting pretty close to the sides. My, my, we'll keep the clothespins on for a little bit. But what I found is if you wanna keep those side pieces nice and straight, kind of take the last piece, the one you want it, and right in here, use a little clip to hold it so that it stays in place. And then when you come around the corner, this is gonna be a round basket, even though it has a square bottom. So when you come in here, you kind of keep your spoke straight the way you want it, and you put in another clip to hold it straight. These other ones you just finagle with your fingers. So at this point, I don't need to keep my clothespins there, I suppose, because they're holding them in place. So when I get back to that last one here, I'm gonna take a clip. I kind of like the way that spoke looks nice and tall. I'm gonna hold it in place, come around. I'm alternating weaving. And again, I'm going to, it seems like extra time, but it really is worth it in the long run to do that. Over, under, over, I take those clips out. Under, again, there's my last one in that row. So I'm going to, for that row, I should say, put the clip in there, come around the corner. Oh, that's a little awkward. So I'm going to straighten that one. Put another clip oops there to hold it and keep on going last side get a clip make that spoke straight hold it in place and see now i'm coming back to where i started you can go ahead and take that clip off it shouldn't go anywhere come around the corner make sure that spoke is nice and straight and hold it now Here's where we always overlap four. So here's where I started, right here. So one, two, three, four. You have to take that one off eventually. So I overlap one and two, tuck it right on top so you can't see it. And for the moment, I'm gonna take that off. Here's three and four. So I cut it just a hair shyer than the fourth one so I can tuck it behind and I can't see it. Now you won't always have to do this on and off with this clip because it might be a wider side, but you just kind of hold it like this. So that's, and then as you go, you push everything down. So here's where I finished. So I do a quarter turn on this one. I'm gonna grab another piece of reed, find the good side, okay? And this one, I'm actually gonna start, it looks like I'm gonna start all these on the second one here, looks like, okay? So here's where I wanna be over. So I go to the one to the right of it, Go behind it, place it flush with the end right here, get a clip and hold it in place. This way you don't pull it through or anything while you're actually working on it. I'm gonna push everything down the best I can. So now as I start going around again, didn't catch that. I'm going to take this pin off. Actually, I can take two of them because it's so small. I'm gonna to come to the last one on that side, straighten up that spoke again, Put the clip back in to make it stay in place. Come around the corner. You don't want it to be too loose or too tight because you'll pull the whole thing in because you want a candle to fit in there in this one. But come around, clip it, and then you can work on taking those off because it's on the side you're on right now. Push things down. Straighten spokes as you need to. And there's that last one again. So make sure it's going straight up. You can kind of see it down here clip it so it stays in place, come around the corner. You can see that one's sliding over. My spoke's nice and straight now. So I'm gonna put another clip in. 
and go ahead and take those two off. Now, when you have a larger basket, you don't have to keep taking the ones on the ends off because um, they're going to be farther away. You can wait till you get closer to them. Over, under, you can see I'm always opposite. You go back and forth like this to see your overs and unders. And when I get here, I'm gonna clip that back on again. Come around, make sure you're pushing things down. You don't want any gaps in between. You don't wanna see them at all. Just make sure that's straight. Put your clip in. Almost at the end of the side now. Over, under. Clip that straight so it stands up nice and tall. And then you can take this off because you're coming back around to finish. Come around, stand that one up tall. And here's where you've started, right here. So you're gonna do one, two, three, and four. So I overlap one and two, get them all tucked down in there. Can't see where you started now. Get rid of that for a moment. Here's three and four. Cut it a little shorter than four. And then put that piece back in to keep it nice and straight. And there's that, you can't see where you started or stopped. Here's where you started, here's where you stopped, can't see it. Give it a quarter turn. And we'll do this one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my colors in. Because I only have to do four rows of natural before I do my colors. Again, feel for the right side. Right side faces out. I'm gonna be on top of this one. So I go behind the one to the right of it. So now I have three done and make it line up. Again, push things down, looking for gaps in between. Make sure you don't have them. Take those out. I'm just gonna go around quickly now. Put it in to straighten it. Come around the corner. Keep that spoke straight. So it doesn't matter what basket you're doing. This is the general basic weave. So keep that one straight of any basket. If you do, it's called stop and go. You have to, or start and stop, whatever we wanted to call it. But every row, you have to stop it and overlap it and then start the next row. The reason you can start at the same place is so it doesn't get too bulky all on one side or wall on one spot. So you kind of alternate around. On rectangular baskets, you typically start on the longer sides and you just do a half a turn. Square baskets, you can do a quarter turn unless there's a handle. So, but that will be something you can figure out. And if you do too many on one side, it's really not a big deal. Uh, back to the beginning again. So it's always overlap four. So here's where I started. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm get rid of these. I'm gonna do one and two first. Tuck them in, lap, overlap them so you can't see. Get rid of those. Here's three and four. Cut it a hair shorter than four. That might be a little too long. And tuck it behind so you can't see where it started. And then you can put those two pieces back in again. Now, if you change size of width of the reed or color of the reed or whatever, there's nothing different. It's just it's a different color. That's the only thing. So I can look inside. If I can't remember where I was, I look inside. I look for the double right here. You can see there's two together. So I know I want to do a quarter turn. And I'm actually doing a rainbow basket this time. Um, really love how that looks. So same thing, find the right side. I can tell this is nice and smooth. Here's where I want to be on top, so I go behind the one to the right of it, hold it in place, take those two off, and I'm going to get going on this. I'll show you one more time how to overlap the four when you get back there. But then I think you'll see the bit, gist of what you're supposed to do when you're just weaving straight rows basic start and stop of the reed. But you can see there's no difference. Make sure you're closing up. I saw some gaps here, so close it up. Of 
those pin those side those two corner spokes so they stand straight up the ones on the side you can always you know shift it back and forth as you see them leaning it's a little thicker there so I'm gonna have to push that down okay so I'm back at the beginning it's gonna be a little easier to now see with the color so one two three four I'm gonna overlap one and two take these off for a moment cut it just a little bit shorter than four so three and four tuck it behind and that bow's done.